So everyone, it is the next day now and the E30 is all dried up. So what I'm gonna look at doing now is putting the top down and then start prepping the car for going over with a lot of paint. <clears throat> My voice is really weird. I've got a really annoying cough over the last couple of days. Not even a couple of days, actually a couple of weeks. <coughs> Let me get my voice together. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna carry on getting the car basically prepped today. Do as much as I can. And then we're gonna get ready for the next part, which is a lot of the um, high build um, primer. Uh, some guide coat. And then basically making sure the body's perfect and then ready for some basic blue paint. Not sure when I'm gonna get this professionally painted, but might be for the little time being, that it's gonna be a basic blue, not a basic bitch. So I'm wondering, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on with that. Let's see how the day It is disgusting inside. <laughs> it is what it is. There's, there's actually still a lot of dirt on the car. The back, I'll show you. When cleaning a convertible, that's the part of the car that you can't get to. So as you can see, still a lot of dirt there. And with the rest of the interior, let you focus. Um, still got to remove it because I got that mold on the seat belts and there's a lot of dust. And I want to make sure that the door cards and everything like that are fitted perfectly. So I'm going to remove them, um, make sure that it's easier as well for <clears throat> when it's painting time. Um, in fact, to be honest, I might get away with not removing the door cards right now sorting them out once the car's painted up so yeah i might just leave them now time to prep clean clean sorry prep mask everything blah 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 blah, blah. and then get on with the rest of it let's go I'm gonna screen most of this. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit of just making sure there's specific areas that could be really easy to get to have been covered. Um, but yeah, this side I think is near enough done. I'm gonna mask this whole area off because none of it needs to get work done onto it. Um, yeah, it's going pretty. Ooh. I forget those areas there. I gotta figure out a way to take this off. It's gonna be stubborn. I'm not able to slide anywhere. Alright, so I'm leveling up the uh, the way I'm gonna attack. Ooh, I'm able to go underneath it. Oh, this was that way. No. Man, so I think I got a phone call at some point. No idea when. That's annoying. But let's see if I'm able to get this off now. That is disgusting. But got it all off. New one of those are gonna go on. So everyone, it's another part of the vlog. It's another day. 
got my fresh cut and everything so man the weather is absolutely amazing outside it's just perfect temperature not much of a breeze at all or anything so I just that much more motivated to get this car done so I can cruise around in it so right now um, coming on with taping the car up getting everything ready for me to just start painting it as much as I want and basically a little bit of everything so I'm gonna get on with that so that's it the car is basically masked up to the points in which I want it to be um, got near enough everything covered just gotta cover the alloys up now next um, but yeah I'm just gonna do a couple of areas now just so that they can start drying up and everything and getting themselves ready for the next stages so yeah this is a very good learning curve for me gotta see I'll probably leave something in there so then it kind of keeps it all weighted down but that's everything now quick reminder to everyone is I am NOT a professional I have never done anything like this before and this is just basically me going with the flow doing what I kind of feel like doing um, there's a lot of tips out there, there's a lot of things that you can follow, a lot of tutorials um, but you do as you wish and that's what I'm doing with this car right now so fingers crossed the finish that I'm looking to go for it's going to be taken to a professional later on do a complete spray job on it but for the time being this is how I'm doing it so let's get on with it when your dad's enjoying your project as much as you and wants to help out this is where all my uh, car craziness came from so you got the car outside now gonna be wet sanding it all down with 400 grit so uh, yeah my dad's already started I keep telling him stop out of it but he don't want to listen to me so yeah we're gonna get working on that now so quick update of the car right now as you guys can see I've only got that door to still get sanded down by 400 grit the rest of the car is basically sanded down Honestly, the weather is so beautiful today. I'm not going to do the, the bottom bumper part just there. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for that part to be done by the pros. That's the rest of the car. Everything is getting there. Some bike going over there. But honestly, man, look at that. It doesn't come out in the. Oh, I don't think it comes out in the camera. But the way everything is just sat right now, the way it's gonna look in the sun when it's all done, can't wait. All I can say is this is really weird. <laughs> Let's get the car back in the garage. So everyone, right now we're at the next part of the um, painting process. And so we're ready for Primer. Um, so what I'm going to do is first go around the whole car with a tack rag, um, try and get off as much dirt as I can. Again, I'm a DIY kind of guy doing it in my house. I'm not at some booth or anything like that, which would be a lot better, um, be a lot safer for the car and the finish at the end. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm going around everything, trying to do best I can with what I have uh, um, in the budget that I've placed to get a good finish out of this so we're gonna get that got my um, Wagner spray gun out um, because again I'm only applying primer on right now I'm not actually applying the paint so we're gonna see what kind of finish we can get out of this so let's get to it Well, right now I've actually come out to the garden area which is still a mess behind me um, but I've got my Wagner thing I've got my uh, bottle I mean a mixer so this can take up to 800 milliliters and I'm gonna look at I'm gonna do a test run first so I'm not gonna do the full 8 I'm gonna do we'll try 400 mil so 200 mil of the actual primer and then 200 mil of this. It's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. 
um, so it makes my life a little bit easier um, and we can go ahead and get those started so I've got a screwdriver I'm gonna go get that my bad so there's the color it's going to be I just shook it around a lot I'm gonna mix it real quick and then I'm gonna get ready to pour it in Start off over here. Right now. So I made a slight miscalculation. Um, the gun that I was using, the, the nozzle on it, was actually for a garden fence. Now, I bought this one as a replacement for my old one because my brother accidentally um, ruined that one. And when he was doing all the stuff to the R34, he forgot to clean it out properly and that's what caused me the headache of finding a new one. Um, now, from the face of everything, they both look exactly the same, the nozzles, um, but they're not, which is why this was getting such a massive um, pattern that literally you saw, I was able to do near enough half the bonnet uh, in one slow um, spray. So I'm gonna wait for this side to dry, um, purely because I don't wanna like outdo myself. Um, I want to let this dry, see what the hell's going on. I would have stopped straight away if the paint wouldn't have hardened on itself. Um, so that's the reason why I've stopped after doing the whole side. Um, but at the moment, it all looks good. Um, certain parts I'm going to have to sand down and get it um, all into shape after it's dried. But that's not the worst thing because I know I have a lot of sanding to do. But yeah, you can see there's a, a ripple right there. Um, but I can't wait. I actually kind of think this color looks really cool. Um, if you want me to keep it this color, let me know real quick. Let's see how it goes, guys. I'm going to come back in about half an hour's time. Peace. So it's all a learning curve. But yeah. So it didn't go as planned. Um, the When I did the mixture as 4 to 1, it's become really thick and the sprayer couldn't get um, enough power on it I guess and so it's become all like this but it's alright because I still need to sand everything down um, and make sure all of the lines and everything like that are perfect so this just adds to my sanding a little but every part that is now primed needed to be primed like this so then I could carry on with the rest of what I'm doing so this is how the car is at the moment I'm leaving it like this overnight get a good view of the car right now I actually think it looks really cool in this color but yeah that's the car done for now <laughs> 